Are you tired of the same old pro wrestling? Then check out the amazing action on powerslam.tv, the biggest indie pro wrestling channel in the world. Get over 4,000 hours of the best pro wrestling events from over 110 of the biggest names in the industry from over 15 countries around the globe. Get your free trial today at powerslam.tv. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Think Wrestling. My name is Tom. This is Talk Wrestling and I'm here again at UKWA with Sugar Duncan. So Sugar, thank you very much for joining me. Um, <laughs> I was very excited when I was informed that you would be here because I was thought, oh, interview time. So <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Like it's, it's good to be a part. For those with the benefit of, of video, if he's, are you posting video for this or is it just... That will be up um, next... Week, but um, not yeah. Next, the W is Friday after, after this Friday. But um, I don't usually post like um, like little clippets from the interviews sure. because I thought, well, I don't want to spoil anything. I'll just make you wait and suffer. <laughs> okay, but well, that's fine as far as it goes. I just, I just, um, it's like how com comedians always make jokes about there's a visual and oh, an yeah. audio component. So it's like for those of you without the visual component, I've been posting the rock on signal the whole time and everything. And it's it's good to be here, man. Like it's it's good. I I, I did a uh, I did a unscheduled run in uh, many interviews back for you. So this yes, is, you did. This is a switch because now I'm the subject of said interview. You are now so the sole purpose. You I'll are be a the good reason boy. I'm doing this. I'll be a good boy today. And as long as you don't say what was said in the. Last one, the best one, which was taken down, which of which I'll point out again. It's not his fault. to do with him. But, uh, Understand. <laughs> so we Understand. should be fine. But let's not let's talk. Let's not talk about because that that intro is off record. That one. Yeah, we're not gonna focus on the bad things. Let's man. focus on the good things. Let's get into this. So, Sugar Duncan, thank you very much for joining me for this. Massively appreciated. So, I want to start off by asking about your character, Sugar Duncan. It's a pretty unique. I'm like, where did the inspiration for Sugar Duncan come from, basically? Um, it, for the, I'm unabashed about it. The movie uh, Semi Pro, if anybody's ever seen it, like it's a hilarious basketball movie. Like it's it's a bit of a cult status, I yeah. guess, at the end of the day. But one of the nicknames that Andre 3000's character uses throughout it is um, Sugar Duncan. It's it's a pass by yeah. nickname. Like if you don't hear it, if you don't catch it, you don't catch it. Yeah. So um, I ran with it around the time that I was doing this uh, gimmick. It wasn't the first name that I had when I was doing the basketball version of it. Yeah. And um, but that's the one that stuck. Um, I didn't eliminate it because it's like. Kind of like real life, you can't just get rid of who you are. Yeah. I've shortened it, you know, your Suge D or Sugar D or whatever it is, especially now that the basketball tones have kind of fell to the wayside. Yeah. But at the end of the day, my name is my name, as Marlo Stansfield would say in the great, great show, The Wire. So, uh. Which I've never seen, so. You've never seen The Wire? <laughs> Greatest team. Oh, God! <laughs> If it's not the greatest TV show ever, it is the... That's not me saying this. This is many publications. If it's not the greatest TV show ever, it's t at least top five greatest TV show ever. And, uh, you know, we would have had Game of Thrones as a contender, but apparently... Oh, God, no. But apparently, the season didn't quite work out for y'all. Now, did it! I haven't you seen see, an episode of it. Like, you, like, see, you see, that, that made me laugh so much for me because I'm never, I've never seen a single episode of this. I never wanted to. And they were there, like, moaning about the uh, far and they're saying, well, oh, they're mad. They, they are pissed. And I'm there thinking, well, I didn't see it. I'll like, find out know. eventually because I got to binge watch it, you know, because I, I want to see it. It's yeah. just I know how I am. If I start a show, I'm, I'm very rough about um, not being able to complete a show. That's why I like how Netflix does their format. Yeah. At least with a season. Boom, they drop it all on you and there it is. Yeah, apart from when they cancel it like Daredevil. Yeah. So, we shan't talk about that because I'm not on good terms with them right now for that. I don't. I, I will never forgive Netflix for cancelling Daredevil. But that wasn't on them. Disney is taking back their property. I get that and I completely understand that. But Disney, even Disney themselves have said they won't be doing it again because of the mature content of it. And I just think that's... No! that's, that's, that's exactly! Because if you think about it, right, Daredevil, he's a quite a, like, um, he's a quite a, it's only Batman and Marvel, isn't he? So, quite sort of rough around the other character. So, they're cancelling it and not doing it again because they are, they want to be more child friendly. So, Luke Cage is gone and Daredevil's gone. So, Marvel now, so the, the, the Marvel Netflix universe doesn't exist anymore. Well, it exists, but they won't be doing anything new with it because, uh, Disney had the rights. 
and Disney won't be doing anything else with it because it's too mature. I'll say this much though: at the very least, uh, we're we're it's we're lucky for the fact that at least the shows ended on you know if yeah. not to spoil anything for anybody that hasn't seen it. But if you watch, could have been a lot worse. Like, yeah, yeah, like at least they ended where it had like a hard ending yeah. on a lot of them, and you could yeah. call it a day. There was at no least cliffhangers. they didn't pull a big bang theory and go on and on and drain themselves until you just think, oh, please, please cancel yourself. That is already. correct. That is correct. <laughs> they stop when they were in their prime, and that's what TV 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 shows can't do. They yeah. think, oh, we're doing well, so we'll keep going until we die. Well, American shows are kind of weird like that to me, like especially like getting to compare. Like British television to like American television, yeah. Because like American television is like okay, season one, 1997, 27 million episodes, season two, 1998, 27 million episodes. You know, we just keep going, we keep going, we keep going. A lot of times we pass our expiration date, etc. Yeah. British shows, series one, 2001, three episodes. Series 2, 2003, five episodes. Yeah. A Christmas special episode in 2006. 2015, two episodes. Like, y'all are so inconsistent about how stuff can drop, but it's so good. Yeah. Like, you can't miss, like, a single one, man. Like, y'all get to the point. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I think, um, I saw, well, I saw someone, um, I heard someone say that um, America seems to over-dramatize everything in TV shows and movies, which, it's true, but I think it works, doesn't it? Because, like, that's, that's the way. I mean, we got a lot of filler episodes. That's the oh that's yeah, the best way to put it. yeah, yeah. You definitely do. Yeah. Now, one of the shows that I I could really appreciate for the time that it was on was The Office. Um, oh, yeah. The American version of it. The British version, of course, awesome. I think it's one of the few times that usually there's a British version and then America tries their hand and at they it. can remake of it. Sort yeah, of, yeah. And, it do, and it doesn't quite work the, the same. The in-between is Poison Kate where the Americans butchered it. Yeah. That they're... was just awful. Because the thing is that was strictly British humour isn't it? They use British humour that Americans will think well why are you calling him a wanker? Well that's a British word. Yeah. You know Americans don't say that. I got introduced to the in-betweeners uh, last tour and um, like very, very, very funny show. I got introduced to Bad Education, too, on that yeah. one, too. I'm not sure that. That show was... Oh, I love that show. Uh, so, but the but the thing that... Uh, the thing that definitely... What I liked about the American office is... Even if you... Even if an episode came off like it was filler, it wasn't. Because yeah. there was always little pieces that added to the whole... Whatever yeah, they got the to something. The overall plot point of it. Yeah, yeah. you know... So um, there, there would be stuff that were like long simmering plot points, and yeah. if you didn't see this episode, even though it might have been completely about something else, but there might have been one minute. There in might the have episode. been a minute that was so relevant, and that's such a key difference that you miss that, and you think, "Wait, what?" There you go. <laughs> exactly. Especially when we're talking about, uh, especially when we're talking about the relationship with Jim and Pam. They yeah. had so many little things. See, I've never seen Office. I've got no idea. The only. Um, the only I've seen, I've seen like bits of it on YouTube, but I've never like watched a full episode of it. Man, um, you gotta make that time, man. Especially the way these streaming services are acting right now. Yeah, yeah. well, watch. it's because it isn't. It, the thing is, the only streaming service I really use it is Netflix because everything else it, it works, but it's probably illegal. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to. I don't. And this is already slow enough as it is. I don't slow down with it with viruses from illegal websites. <laughs> You know what? We know, and by illegal websites, he means perfectly legal websites that he would never, ever, 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 ever consider not using. Because why would he ever go to an illegal website? I don't go to illegal websites, but that has so much because the uh, my antivirus expired quite a while ago, and I never got around to renewing it. So oh yeah, you gotta be careful. Everything, regardless of it, it could be a perfectly safe website like Facebook. But then there'll be a pop-up ad, and I won't get rid of it. And they'll, they'll, they'll inject them into my laptop. Security warning! Security warning! Security yeah, warning, security pretty much. Warning. Then I've got then I've got about eighty things coming up saying warning. You have a lot off. We like, trailed the hell off too. Like, we you have, have. my name, but that's okay. Those those are good it went conversations. on to your name too. Uh, those are good conversations. Though. They are. Though I mean, I mean, I say this so much. I know they're at home probably sick of me saying this at this point, but I will again. I don't want. I don't ever want these to be really sort of formal question and answer like um, Hasso favorite match. This so, that's so passe. It's so dull as well. Like, like I hate watching those and I hate doing them. So it's more fun when you sort of go off on a tangent like that, especially when you're obviously ten, ten minutes up on that tangent. <laughs> By the way, and I'm super amped up right now too because 
I went to a vintage game shop that was literally like a bit of a walk, like just a small walk, like not even two minutes from here. Yeah. Uh, vintage Gamer. That's the name of it. Um, Shouts out then. <laughs> I saw. Are you ready for this? Go on. I saw Hit me with it. <laughs> an old school four battery Game Boy that was modded. So that there's a backlight built into the screen. Oh my gosh. So, so you can see it. Dude, blew my mind. Oh. And it wastes less battery than a normal one without the backlight built in. Because remember like the old one, you had to plug in the little one and have yeah. like, a little reading lamp to go over it. No, the backlight's already built into it. Oh my god, that's I, amazing. I, I, I am in negotiations to uh, <laughs> right, take negotiations that off their to, hands. To, to try to... Especially if they'll throw in a cartridge of uh, Donkey Kong to go along <laughs> with it to sweeten the deal. But no, I was very, very impressed. Very yeah. impressed. Uh, Especially as, I mean, I mean, those sorts of Game Boys, they used to. But, I mean, I mean, you, you, I mean, oh man, you 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 you, 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 co, you co, Goodbye, literally mini arcade machine to slot those things in. Oh Already backlit. God. Oh, and then this my. one. Oh yeah, and then he had this one in the back. That's like his personal modded one, and like that one is like, dude, he, he had that built, so it was like clean white, fresh new buttons, the whole nine. That one's got a backlight with blue ring yeah. around it as well too. Oh, but he never plays it, and I understand why. It's too clean. Uh, I'd be afraid to get dirty. I'd be afraid to get it dirty. If yeah. it were black, I'd be all over it. Yeah, say, so, say. So, I mean, it's one of those things that it's so beautiful, but you think I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> I would tear that that thing apart. Like if, seriously, knowing how I live, yeah, it it wouldn't have a good home with me. <laughs> oh my god! Well, uh, you know what? Um, <sighs> take your time. Take your time. I know. <laughs> Like, like if the thing is though, like those sorts of things, back then, like they they weren't the most durable. Like this has been through so much shit. I've thrown this at like I've thrown this at walls and car. I've literally I've thrown it on so much. like that. That's a phone bar. case you couldn't see it. Um, I I I'm, I'm so bad with that. But like they're more durable. Cause see, back, back, you know, and when, when those older Game Boys, because I mean, one you showed me that's still that's an old one. But just with some adaptions to it, yeah. So that's still gonna be pretty fragile, isn't it? That's yeah. still gonna have the sort of the fragility. If that's the right word. Well, it's like that. Like those kind of Game Boys, especially like the old school stuff, they can take a hit. The yeah. thing is, it's the aesthetic. That yeah. one's so pretty. I get pissed if yeah. it was like nicked. It's and like collectibles, yeah. isn't it? Like yeah. you, you know, like, they're amazing, and you want to use them. But you don't want to open them because they instantly lose all their worth. You know, it's like people who collect figures or whatever. You don't want to open them because they instantly lose their worth. It's I think when it's a gaming console. I feel though. personally attacked right now because of my pop collection. That's just are they in or out of the box? But none of them are out of the box, man. Let no, I think this is important. Are they in the box or out of the box? Oh, they in the box. Oh, man. okay, good. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to have that for posterity. Like some somebody gonna buy them. I just don't know yeah. when. Actually, see, I'll say that I have recently taken all one out of the box. When I say all, I mean doesn't mean three, because well, it's because I am working on a complete reshuffle on my room because I'm because I'm I'm going to be doing more 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 wrestling videos at home, and my current setup is awful for it. Very nice. So um, I've had to get rid of. Literally, I used to have an entire shelf. When I say I literally mean um, a stack. Literally, from about down there, which I know they can't see at home, but like um. And like on the floor, basically. So at home, if you like, literally from there to about there, mm. just to pop vinyls, Ooh. which was it, it was. I loved it, but the thing is, I had no room for them, and I thought that I don't want to take take all of them out of there, pack them down, easily lose their worth. Yeah. So I will sell them on or give them away if I can't be bothered to sell them on. Then I'll just keep the like I've kept my uh le, my uh let me kill Mister one. You know, the uh, former... Uh, oh, yeah, they were yeah, the thought, yeah. I'm not getting rid of that one. And I've kept uh, Chris Jericho, obviously, one of the greatest of all time. Not what version of, of Chris Jericho? Uh, the list of Jericho. Damn good one. So okay. I thought, I'm not... So those are two that I refuse to get rid of. One of the greatest, one of the greatest musicians ever, one of the greatest investors ever. I'm not getting rid of those two. We've gone off completely here. So tell me, so... So, go on, go on then. So what pops do you have in your collection at home, then? Because you said you've got quite a few, haven't you? Dude, like... <laughs> It, it's it's dude. It's pretty extensive. Like seriously, it's like it's pretty extensive. Yeah. I feel like the ones that I'm most proud of in that collection though are like um, 
I've got I've got an original Jules from Pulp Fiction. Oh. Uh, I have um, an original Red Ranger. That's probably the most uh, from Power Rangers. Wait, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah. Oh man. So that was a that was a gift, but I don't think they realized How? what they gave me. Yeah, when they I gave that's it one of the things where they don't realize what what they're giving you. I think that one alone is worth like a hundred something now, which is good. <laughs> I, I just sit on it, and I'm I'm hoping. If it comes to some real dark times, I'm able to just move that one yeah. out and get the money off of that. Um, I'm trying to think of I'm trying to think of some other ones I got. Um, my two uh, Cuphead and Mugman. I'm always gonna have respect for them. I, I literally have them separated based off of like I've got I've got famous couples or partnerships. Yeah. So like for instance, I have like. Um, I have Batman and Cat, old school Batman and old school Catwoman together. Oh uh, yeah. I have Wally and Eve together. Yeah. Like little stuff like that. Like ones I just I can't think of doing one without the other. Yeah. Um. I also think I have every everybody from the Fifth Element. Oh my god. Which I'm huge fan of that movie. Huge fan of that movie. So like I got two Ruby Rods because somebody got it for me as a as a gift because and they were right they yeah. they did right. But Corbin Dallas I've got. Lilu with the bandages and without the bandages. And when I say without the bandages, regular clothes, not nasty. You pervs, <laughs> not naked. You know, you pervs. Stay your head out the gutter. <laughs> uh, Jean Baptiste, oh, yeah. Emmanuel yeah. Sorg with the you know with the the Z three hundred. Yeah, you know? like um, I got like all sorts of stuff, and they range from all sorts of little nerdy parts of me, but yeah. like. I don't know, like they all speak to me. They all are characters that I, I enjoy. I love going pop hunting. Um, the only reason I probably haven't bought anything back from here is because I'm so scared about them getting crushed on the way. Yeah, back. so they are pretty fragile. I mean, you put them in the wrong box and that's it, they're doing all day. Yeah. But like, um, there's an app, uh, at, at least as far as I know for Android. It's like, uh, I think it's like Pops. Pops Kedia or something like that. Oh yeah, and um, it'll evaluate your co- collection. It'll t- it'll tell you ones that you can search for and yeah. all this other stuff like that. I think my collection, based off of value, um, is I think I think it's close to like tw- like twelve hundred. <laughs> so like yeah, God, that is yeah. That's what I'm saying. If I come bad. Some, <laughs> if I come up on some hard times, yeah, I got less stuff go. Yeah, there's the, there's be a public about. Maybe fifty quid for all one bunch of them. Hopefully, I'll never. Me. Hopefully, I'll never have to let them go until it's it's yeah. absolutely time. But like, I yeah. said, that. I've also got a uh, Kenny Omega pop, which I got is exclusive to a Wrestle Creator thing. So I'm never that again. That'll be sort of like I will sell if I ever get homeless, which I don't ever go. plan to, obviously. But. And obviously, his worth is going to go up pretty soon. When oh yeah, when a certain all of these wrestling, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. so that will go through the roof. I've all got a sign one as well from uh, Millie McKenzie. Which I only custom, I'm, I'm my only son as well, because I think that I'm not, like, custom pops cost a hell of a lot to make. And the only people that I, I could get them signed by are independent wrestlers, but I can't make custom one for every wrestler on me, because that would be ridiculous. Like, that's insanely expensive. Like, they, like, I want, like, I met Lita a couple of years ago, yeah. and I wanted to make a custom, I wanted to get a custom one made, but it would have cost me way too much, thought it's not worth it, so I just got a sign action figure. So... But you know what? Could be much worse. And he's got something. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, how, how are you going to say the queen, the original queen of extreme, is it worth her own custom pop? Well, she is. But at that point, I'd already spent about hundred quid on the ticket to meet her. So I thought I can't spend any more on the, you know, <laughs> other finances involved. Okay. <laughs> so I already, I already spent a hell of a lot to me because I thought I'm not passing this sort of opportunity up, and I thought I want to, but. I don't want to, you know, I don't well, I want You're to. You're absolutely I right. I to live off, like, cancel estate meals for. <laughs> You're absolutely <laughs> to, right. You're absolutely to be right. myself. So I thought, you know what, would have been good, but not. Immediately I met her, so that's the main thing. So, anyway, we've got to cut off with that completely. We're talking about your pops. Your pops. I'm, I'm good. Like, like, me trying to remember every last one of them would be just. Yeah. Fucking madness, but those are the ones that jump off uh, yeah. off the top of my head anyway. Can you remember the first ever ever pop you ever got? 
It was that Red Ranger. Oh, uh, the Red Ranger, yeah. Kid. So then it inspired me to be like, okay, well, let me see what else I can get into or whatever it is. And I'm, yeah. I, turns out I really like them. I really like them. <laughs> yeah. They're really addictive to collect. And I don't quite know why. And they're cheap as well, which is annoying. They're cheap, so you buy a lot of them, which is really annoying because before you know it, you fill your entire house up with them. Yeah, they take, especially if you keep them boxed, they take up space, buddy. Oh, my oh, God, yeah. yeah. The box, I mean, the box is probably twice the size of actual fucking box, yeah. aren't they? So keep them in the box, so there's going to be like... Oh god, but it takes a, it does take a lot. I mean, if you got Funkos at home, you know how much room they take up. I mean, I've only got three now, well, five including the two. They probably take up like that, just the, the five of them. Mm-hmm. One, two. A bit less, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm trying to calculate it there. I'll know I'll make it one day if, like, uh, I don't know, like. Having time room for. If so, no, if somebody, like, if, if I get one made. But I want, like, official, official. Like, I want, like, New Day official pop. Oh, yeah. You know, like, I, I want that. Yeah. I don't mind customs. I, I, like, I will, glad, I will gladly take a custom pop if somebody wants to make it. But it would be nice to, like, you know, you get this Kmart. Well, knowing me, I wouldn't. What store would, would I be exclusive to? I would probably be exclusive to, like, Super Dry. Yeah. Or something like that. As much as I like the, their products and services. Uh, I'd, I'd be like a, a super dry or like a Target, Target in America. Yeah. I, exclusive. I think that's what, that'd work for me. Yeah. Given my patronage. You know, yeah. Yeah, always, yeah. yeah. I feel like you have gone attended and I would love to really, I could talk about pops all day, but I do feel like we should talk about some wrestling because I know that's people at home probably want to see talking wrestling and all that, so I will ask you some wrestling friends if that's okay with you. Oh, we can get right back, yeah. Cool. Oh, thank you very much. So, I want to go back to your first ever memory of professional wrestling, and not what got you into it, because so that could have been like, like a later date, but the first thing that you remember about it. So, maybe something that like, completely put you off it, and then got back into it at a, at a later date. So, the first thing you remember about wrestling. Oh, for, um, that's easy. Like, my first memory is always in relation to, uh, like, like part, part of why wrestling is so strong with me is because. It is a part of, like, my very earliest memories. Like, yeah. VHS tapes of, like, WrestleMania Five and like, oh, yeah. NWA and stuff like that. WrestleMania Five probably has the most semblance to me because yeah. it's the first one I can remember watching. It's one of the first shows I can remember just knowing, like, the back of my hand. That and Survivor Series, I want to say 89. Yeah. Yeah, it was 89. It was 89. But so, like, I used to watch those the most out of like any of them and um those were always fun I always remember just being in good spirits and feeling good yeah. just watching that and I always knew from a very very young age um I loved wrestling and I was gonna I was gonna do my damnedest one way or another yeah like even if I didn't necessarily get in the ring just to try to find my way to be a part of it yeah and work yourself out yeah well I mean I think that's very admirable because I know that um I mean, being a wrestler takes a lot out of you, doesn't it? It takes a hell of a lot out of you. So, yes. Um, it, I mean, I now speak from experience. I was like, I'm not, I'm not a wrestler, but I did take a few bumps just to, to I, thought, I thought, what's it? Because I know it hurts, obviously, but it's yeah. more a question of how much does it hurt? So I took a few bumps and thought, fuck me, that hurts. <laughs> and yeah, so that that is my wrestling career. I am officially retired from the ring now. I've, uh, I've was been, that like your first? Set of bumps, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm officially retired. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah, because it's like, that's why they talk about that in wrestling training so much. Like, your body has to, your body, it's, they kind of talk about like, like in boxing, for instance, boxing strange because you're learning how to lean into stuff that you're yeah. normally supposed to avoid. So in this, it's like you're learning to adapt and become accustomed to pain and yeah. to doing stuff. Like it's, it's not natural. What, what you don't want to do, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> like it's not natural to throw yourself at the ground. It all. isn't. No. Like I, like I was like um even um uh, uh when I first started f- first started winning the ropes, which I say for that sounded like a few years ago. No, it was like about half an hour ago. <laughs> Literally, that was the only time I've ever done anything like that. Um, but it going like it's running towards the edge. Of the, the of the ground, and this goes against your instinct, doesn't it? You, you, you want to turn around and stop before you get to the edge, so it goes against your instinct to to run against the ropes because you're running towards the edge of 
of the ground and you don't want to do that because your instinct is I'm going to fall out the ring yeah. <laughs> basically I mean you don't but that's when you think I'm going to fall out the ring here and it's going to hurt like hell and you're mentally trying to tell yourself the whole time that it's okay and then yeah. after a while your body does adjust to it I mean you're going to pay for it in yeah. the long run I, I already know I am Oh yeah. but it's like I've accepted it and yeah. it's like I think of my life without it versus my life with it and even when it isn't always so good I'd still take the moments with it yeah I gotta say like it's one of those things that it hurts like hell to, to it like it hurts obviously mm-hmm. and it's not it is not easy to do but with that said I um it's always better to try it and think not for me than to have not tried that makes sense and it's also the, the, the fact that that like you, you, you said, even the hardships in wrestling, you would rather go through them than not have wrestling at all. So it's like small little inconveniences, but overall, wrestling itself is. Hey there! Hi, sorry, is it safe to come in? Um, well, you can, but there's not, there's not a lot of room. Sorry, my apologies. All I'm looking for is do you have a spare plug socket we can borrow, please? Uh, mm, oh, there's a thing. There's a, there's yeah. a gap there, is it alright? Yeah, you can use that, yeah. Okay, so. This this special guest interruption brought to you by plug sockets. Make sure that you have plenty whenever you need to get your electricity on. There you go. Hey man, you right. found it. It's like right in there. Bam. I'm just dying of embarrassment. I'll go. Oh, don't die of embarrassment. Don't die of embarrassment. I'm just playing. I'm just. I'm going to go ahead and work. Hey, hey, hey. Slide, slide, slide. You're on camera now. You're on camera now. Hey, just say hi. Just say hi. Hold on. You gotta. You gotta come in the scene. I, I come in the scene. I, 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 I've ruined everything. No, you haven't ruined everything. Like you're fine. This is called ad lib. We can't see you in the camera. You got to dip. There, bam! There you go. So, so that's that's to match a name to a face. He shouldn't be embarrassed. Everything's fine. He was just coming in. We're at a wrestling show right now. Everything's good or whatever. This sort of things happen to wrestling. Just so you know, yeah. I mean, there is never going to be a moment of. That's part of the reason why I got you doing it, just so you can be that's easy cool, and be cool, cool about, about it. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Oh, I'm so glad. Nice to see, you. he's gonna be he's gonna be the one verbally lacing me up in the ring this evening. You know Absolutely. And I'll be long pushing over on on commentary. I'm doing that for the first time today, which I'm fucking shit myself. Can't believe. You're commentating as well. Yeah. Awesome. Don't there worry. You go. Everybody knows everybody. It's my first time at the last show. Here, so oh yeah, oh you're yeah, the easy. Johnny Blur, John Blur, yeah, yeah, that's me. Nice to meet you, mate. <laughs> nice to meet you, yeah. See, so. this is wrestling right here. It's like jazz. You're improvising. Everything just exactly, comes together, yeah. and we make a beautiful moment. For those of you without video, I'm doing like a very motivational speaker type <laughs> pose right now. Awesome. Yes. And with that, I bid you farewell. <laughs> I will see again, you in a bit on commentary. You gotta apologize, dude. Thank you so much. That's absolutely fine. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Hey, that's, that was a new one. So yeah, we, roll with it. Oh, yeah, thanks for that. There we are. So that was uh, someone using a plug soft socket in my thing. Well, I say you're using a, but I never use all four of them. So anyone can just if they need to take up a plug socket. I don't really care. I only ever use three of them for my laptop and the two lights. So anyway, yeah. wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> so you said what was it? Wrestling, WrestleMania five was WrestleMania the first. five or Survivor Series nineteen eighty nine. I'm amazed you got you, 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 you like you remember so clearly. You're like I'm still pretty really blue. I might first maybe missing to be honest. <laughs> I've watched them so many times, like, oh, especially oh, okay, on VHS. Yeah. It's like I know them, dude. VHSs. Wait, you still have VHSs? Yeah. Those are some of the those are some, those are some of the last lasting memories of my grandpa. Oh, okay, man. yeah, so okay. Like, I can't hate you for that. Yeah. I mean, but I say I wouldn't hate you for that anyway. I just think it's not, but you know what? Plus, like, they still have the original music on the VHSs. <laughs> For those of you without the the ability to see video, I'm doing like a strong stare at the camera. <laughs> they still know. have the original music the way I remember it. None of this terrible dubbing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, so uh, for those of you who couldn't see, he was not the best. He was not like, typically his most... Uh, his happiest face at the camera there. I'm going to say a uh, shot to the the rear there for replacing all of the old stuff with awful, just what can be described as the most dreary stuff ever. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're not going to talk about the week because they have not been doing fantastically for themselves. It is what it is. I think, uh, but traditionally, whenever WWE's had uh, challenges, they've stepped up. And that's why I'm glad AEW is to the point where they're getting, you know, 
where they're getting the chance that they're getting. Yeah. Because it's one of those cases where it's like hopefully all the waters rise up. WWE's had a very long period where they got to be by themselves. Yeah. They didn't really have to deal with anybody really, really competing with them. Yeah. You could try to say TNA or Impact at one I point, but TNA, I don't think it's the same scale. I think they came close, but it was definitely not the same scale of the Monday Night Wars so and WCW, but no. definitely not. I mean, um, I think it's obviously too soon to say what AEW will do. They've obviously got very big names behind them with the Young Bucks and Omega and um, Cody and all the rest of them. So, but it's... I say, I mean, they're still yet to actually. I think their first show is tonight, isn't it? Yeah, the so, pay per view, and then the and then their TV debuts. I want to say in October, but um, I mean, it's the moves that they're making already. The yeah. ITV deal, yeah. TNT, TNT hasn't had wrestling since WCW closed. Yeah, you know, all so, of that stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, that's taking some pretty big leaps, and whether or not. They want to say we are competing with WWE. They absolutely are competing with WWE. Mm-hmm. That's point. Um, there is no doubt, especially with Chris Jericho joining in. That was just a fate of middle finger to Vince and uh, <laughs> to WWE, basically. Um, yeah. Anyway, so so you said it was what Survivor Series nine nineteen eighty nine nineteen eighty nine. Yeah, and WrestleMania. So those were your first two like um, major memories of it. The like you sort of think, oh my god, I want to do this, isn't it? So from there, what because I. Like so, uh, so I'm not g- g- gonna gonna ask like your exact age, but I'm gonna guess you were quite young when you were, when you first saw that. Didn't sure, you? Absolutely. yeah. So, so what is that, that exactly? Was it about those though about those two things, or just the experience in general that made you think I want to do this? Whether or whether I'm a wrestler or an announcer or, or this, what was it? Made it you was think, just super colorful. It was loud. The responses that they were getting from people, the yeah. stuff that they were doing, it was like... This entire aspect of the showmanship. Yeah, really. it was theater, but it was showmanship, but it was athletics, mm-hmm. but it was like character. It just it just put... It checked a lot of boxes for me. Yeah, it, yeah. So and it, I it's needed that. Variety of performance, as a God said, and it is into. It's, um, it's got everything. It's got performance, athletics, um, drama, cutting all those promos, the sort of mini TV segments with a... Uh, those like highlight real things, so it's got everything, hasn't it? And of course, keep introducing more things, whether or not it's that's my down to opinion. But you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so when exactly did you start training to be a professional wrestler? So I'm going to guess that was um, pretty much as soon as you felt ready to, basically, wasn't it? Well, mom was never about it at first, or whatever it is. Oh, if, yeah. she, if she. If she had a way, I'd love her to death, but if she had a way about it, I would have just been an office job kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, like, I started training in uh, 02, and, uh, like, and, you know, I trained. It wasn't, like, the best training in the world or whatever it is. It's like, uh, they taught me some stuff, but they didn't teach me, like, the business of the business and yeah. all that other stuff like that. So, I had a really rough time at it. Um, initially starting off and I had to relearn a lot of things. Yeah. I wouldn't say that I got to a point that I was actually starting to do anything that was of real worth until like 2006 or 2007. Oh, Because I had oh, to unlearn yeah. a lot of stuff, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, that, that still means to be doing it for over 10 years now, 10, about 11, 12 years-ish. Long you? enough. Long, long, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think you've had your fair share of what I've done in this, this uh, industry, haven't you? Is that tape? It's, it's not anymore. Not anymore. It, what, yeah. Why was there tape on? Because it, it was just on there. the floor. Actually, no, that was probably. Um, I think that was a because I, um, I put that over a piece of uh, chewing gum on the floor. So <laughs> basically, <laughs> so I thought I don't want to pick that up, but I don't want to, uh, um, you know, leave it there. So I just put some tape over it and I thought, I hope no one steps on that. So hey man, like <laughs> it's it's. It's it's gone now. It it's doesn't gone now. That's the main thing. So just don't step on the chewing gum yeah. on your way out. Okay. <laughs> oh, where where? I don't. I think it's somewhere. Uh, probably around. That looks pretty icky down there. I guess. Uh, so. Oh my god! <laughs> now it's a landmine. Okay. All right. Continue. Let's <laughs> not step on that. Yeah. Let's about that. Anyway. Yeah. So, so where is that exactly? What what was it that you started uh, uh, training to, to to be a wrestler? Exactly. What was the training school you were at? Uh, I'd rather not say. Like like that initial, that initial bit like it was, it wasn't very far from where I stayed or whatever it is. Yeah, and it's it's no knock to those who train me, but it was like I got trained by some guys that like I think they claimed to have done more than what they really did, but yeah. I didn't know at the time or whatever it is. That's why I said like 
I learned how to bump. I learned how to do this and that or whatever it is. But if you're talking about whether it prepared me for what came next, it didn't. Yeah. And I had to relearn like a yeah. lot of stuff while I was on the road. So uh, for a yeah. long time, people um, really, you know, I, 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 there were things I didn't know about backstage etiquette yeah. and, you know, promoting myself, all this other stuff like that. So for a long time, um, there were just people who just thought I was terrible, you know, yeah. and, um, like, that's why I try to be very wary about, you know, you shouldn't just say somebody just sucks out right unless they got a terrible attitude. Sometimes they yeah. don't know that they're just not very good. Yeah. And if they're willing to work at it or you're willing to give advice, at the very least try to, like, that's why I always had appreciation. Like, so when I talk about, like, my trainers, per se, yeah. it would be, like, Jeremy Vane, Murder One, David Reigns. Yeah. And David Reigns was the first guy to really sit me down and be like, hey, man, you suck. But here's why. Yeah. And there needs to be more of that in this business as opposed to, oh, you just suck and then they treat you like a yeah. So. so there's a big difference between being bad but thinking, I, but thinking how, how can I improve and being bad and thinking, well, I don't care. Then I'll yeah. just, just forget it. Basically. There are some people who really, really want it. And it's just they don't know how to get it because nobody's had that conversation with them. And people can be so dismissive. Yeah, and that's yeah. the thing is that in wrestling, like oh, I said, wrestling in general, people I always think people are um, a bit sort of iffy to criticism. Like they, they, they like they don't want to hear what they're doing wrong. But it is some, it, a lot of time it is necessary. Like you need to sort of say like here's what you're doing wrong. Here's how you can improve. But I think a lot of people will just sort of hear you doing this wrong. And then they just throw out the rest, don't they? Well, there's a ton of stuff wrong now because it's like public opinion is so prevalent whether yeah. you're you're in the business or you're not in the business. So everybody's got something to say about everything. Yeah. And only a sixteenth of it is constructive. That's Everybody just wants to talk about what they don't like. That's very precise faction. How'd you come up? <laughs> just, just, I just like like it's it's. I felt like I was being too generous if I said half. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. It's a bit of both. Yes. Hair. I can't talk. Yeah. Fair. I, okay. I see what you mean. I'm trying to get up my mouth there. I don't quite know Take why. Take your time. Just... Take your time. I'm good. Oh, thank you very much. Too well. Maybe plug it. Thank you. I appreciate that. I can't do that. But it's my hands don't fit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I barely can like, do it. Uh, I, 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 can do, I, I can do it on that arm. Absolutely. Yeah. Fine. I sort of, I don't know. It's not the same. There. You know, like, call me. It's okay, you'll get cry. Okay, call me maybe. <laughs> Come on, no, that. don't quote that song. Please. I love that song though. It's so <laughs> good. It really is. It's so good. Why? Why would you say that? Okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna say, um, I don't like Carla J. Jepsen, but I'm gonna ignore that because that's obviously not. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't like Nickelback, but they've done some decent songs. Um, okay. I, don't, I just, I don't quite. I think it, it's just such a it's safe to. Mainstream song, if that makes. How you gonna? How you gonna call this? Okay, granted. Okay, so like, yeah, it starts off a little romantic comedy bit at first, or whatever it is. But when this thing builds, it's like excellent. this. This is one of those songs that knows about build. You want to talk? I would use this as an interest theme at all times if I could. Look at that build. Listen to that build. Where do you think you going, baby? Here's my number. Call me, baby. That's important. Woo! You know what? I'm going to introduce you to something which is which will knock that out of the water. Drums and drums and drums and drums. I'm waiting for the guitar in there. I'm waiting. The Why do I feel like I've heard this before? It's a Judas Priest. Yes, I have heard this before. Anyway, I can't um, play the I probably heard it in a. I probably heard it in an action. I want to say I've heard it in an action movie or two. It's I'm Judas Priest. So yeah. Yeah, I can't play the entire thing, so I'll probably get taken off the copyright. <laughs> and obviously, I would kind of like to avoid that. I'll probably, oh, yeah. you know, I would like to like, like, interview, you know, to go, uh, without me getting what anything it, saying. What? It, but but call me maybe has what? what? Yeah. What's the time? Uh, oh, doors open. Don't, don't worry, still got quite a fair amount. I think of he's time. trying to pull people at ringside though. As far I as think, I think they're trying to go. 
I don't know if they're having a meeting or anything. That's the reason why. Should I just have a quick look at the door? If I yeah, see, please. Yeah. Let, let's do that. That way we're we're doing our due diligence. We are, yeah. Uh, yes, they are. Yeah, let's. All right, we're gonna put a bookmark in this. We'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> no gun. No gun. Especially with you being a commentator, I want I want you to miss that. Oh yeah. <laughs>